Hello, wonderful people. Today's video, we're gonna get into how to calculate what your offer should be if you're trying to buy a house as an investment property, uh, more specifically as a flip or a wholesale deal. What that is, is where you buy the house or you um, get the house under contract with a piece of paper and pass the opportunity off to a flipper and just get paid. So that's real estate wholesaling. Flipping is where you actually buy the house, fix it up, or just do some cosmetic cleaning and then list it and sell it, right? So we're gonna calculate what your break even is going to be as a flip, what your break even is going to be as a wholesale contract. Um, we're gonna calculate that for you. This equation works regardless of the market that you're in. So let's dive into it. I hope you guys enjoy. Hi, my name is Zach Booth and I help people just like you become ultra successful in real estate investing and more specifically real estate wholesaling. So you can follow along on this YouTube channel. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. And also if you would like to apply for my mastery program, get direct access to me and all the actionable steps to become a successful wholesaler, make sure you go to my website linked in the description below and book a call so you can either talk to me or one of my onboarding coaches to see if we are a fit to help you in your journey to become a real estate wholesaler. Enjoy the content. Camera guy wanted to make sure that uh, you could see my writing, so I put Boss 101, okay? No, uh, no relation to the equation. So here we go. We're going to dive into this. Um, here it is. So you're going to have to calculate what your after repair value is. ARV, after repair value, that stands for for what's the house worth once it's been fixed up, once the flipper's gone in and done the work, okay? So I'm gonna put just below the equation, I'm gonna put an example, okay? So we're gonna put, let's say this house is worth $100,000 once it's fixed up, okay? So 100, 100K. So then you're gonna times this, times this by 0.92, okay? 0.92, what that is, is um, what it's, once someone buys it and fixes it up and resells it, how much they're gonna to have to pay a real estate agent, how much they have to pay for money costs and title fees. Um, so that gets rid of 8%. So getting rid of 8%, that brings us down to $92,000, right? So once you times it by 0.92, that's gonna go over to $92,000, okay? So that's where we're at right now. Uh, once you times it by 0.92, then you're gonna subtract rehab. Yeah, you're gonna subtract the rehab. Um, <clears throat> the way you can figure out what the cost of a rehab is going to be is by talking to your flippers. A lot of the times flippers can give you a very set cost for how much it costs per square foot for painting, your cost per square foot for flooring, your cost per square foot um, for uh, some of your general things, um, whether it's carpet or hardwood, depending on, on what finishes the type of house is gonna need to hit this after repair value, okay? Um, and then also, you know, the cost for a roof, uh, depending on the, the footprint of how many square feet, let's say it's a, it's a thousand square foot house per level. So a 2000 square foot, two level house. So that means it has about a thousand square foot roof, depending on the pitch, but they can give you a rough estimate how much a roof is going to cost. Uh, you'll be able to figure out how much a, um, a bathroom costs, a kitchen costs from your flipper. So you're going to get a rough idea of what your rehab costs are. Um, that can vary all over the board depending on what market you're in and what the market's doing and how crazy materials are, which right now materials are crazy. So, you know, that's not an exact science. You'll figure it out as you go. And best case scenario is be pretty conservative and get it for as low as you can, okay? So let's say it's $20,000 uh, for the rehab, okay? So we subtract $20,000 out of here. That's gonna bring us over to uh, $72,000 is where we're at right now. Then, um, if you're gonna flip it yourself, that's your break-even number, 
right? So you need to get it for anything under $72,000 if you're gonna flip the house, meaning you're gonna buy it, fix it up and sell it, right? You're gonna put $20,000 into rehab, you know, your holding costs, all those things, that's roughly what you're gonna try and get it under contract for. Anything below that is your profits. If you're gonna flip a house, most flippers wanna make about 20%. Um, or sorry, 10% of the after repair value. So a flipper is gonna probably wanna make somewhere around 10 grand on a $100,000 remodel. Um, <clears throat> so if you're gonna wholesale it to a flipper, you gotta subtract what the, what the flipper is gonna wanna make. So to uh, flipper profit, we're gonna put flipper, oh, flipper profit. Okay, so let's minus another $10,000, oh, so I always do 10% of the after repair value. So if this is 200,000, I would put $20,000 in profits. So if it's 300,000, $30,000 profit. This will change if 10% is usually what a cosmetic remodel is, right? The profits to your flipper. I um, mean, that's pretty customary across the board. But if it's like a fire damage property where you're having to get engineer blueprints and do a massive remodel, new electrical, new plumbing, I mean, foundation stuff, like anytime there's a major remodel, they're gonna want even more than 10% of the ARV. But let's say it's just a normal cosmetic one, minus 10,000, so that brings us down to 62,000. That is your new break even number for a wholesaler. So you got to get it under $62,000 uh, because that's probably what your cash buyers will pay for it. Okay. Um, we try and make at least 10% of the after repair value as wholesalers. So, meaning we would try and get it for uh, 10, you know, a 10%. So we're going to try and make 10 grand as a wholesale fee. So our offer, so minus wholesale profit. Wholesale profit. Okay, so minus another 52 grand. That is our gonna be our offer. Uh, <clears throat> one thing that I want to make very clear, uh, you guys have this, you can pause this, make sure you get that equation. I'm gonna put this down right now, okay? Okay, something I wanna make super clear. When we figure out that our break even number, for example, is 62,000, and we wanna make 10 grand, right? So our offer would be around 52,000. We don't just throw an offer at $52,000 at the seller. We try and figure out what the seller wants, what the seller needs, and try and structure our offer that it fits the needs of the seller. Sometimes the seller can actually walk away with less than $52,000 and be happy. Um, and so it's very important to build a rapport and understand what they need. Just throwing offers at people is actually gonna get you way less deals. They're gonna use that offer as a springboard, as a place to start from. They're gonna go to all the other investors and say, hey, I got an offer for 52,000, can you beat it? Could you do 53, could you do 54? And you're out of the deal, right? Because you already gave that number. So what we'll do is if they won't give us a number that makes sense for them that day, we'll say, well, what's your time frame? Are you really wanting to sell it? If they do wanna sell it and they really want an offer from us, then we'll say something to the effect, okay, well, um, our offer is gonna be anywhere between 35,000 and a, a, about, uh, 52,000, 53,000 maybe. Um, and, and that's what we push. That's how we push. We give them a range. And it's like, so, you know, can we work within that range? We try and negotiate within that range or they say, hey, well, okay, great. I've got somewhat of an idea what you can pay. I've got some other people. I've got to talk to my siblings. And then you start to overcome all the other objections and work through all those problems and then come to an agreement within that range that makes sense for them um, with the goal to make at least $10,000 profit on that deal. So that's how we uh, calculate an offer. That's how we present our offers. Um, and remember that you know, your goal is not to convince someone that the offer that you're making is their best option. What your goal is as a real estate wholesaler or a flipper is you're trying to find people that don't wanna deal with the property that you give them the options. You say, you know, you could make more money if you just fixed it up and sold it yourself. I'm trying to make a profit here. If it's worth the convenience factor for me to do it, I'd be happy to, but you could make more if you just listed it yourself. Why don't you do that? Um, you, you find people that say, I don't want to, I don't want to deal with it. I know I can make more money. I don't care. I'm, I'm happy if you make money because you're going to deal with the eviction. You're going to deal with all these other things that I don't want to deal with. I'm completely okay with it, right? If you go about creating leads, and, and uh, 
cleaning your leads up to people that actually want to work with an investor versus someone that just is curious what the offer is and then present your offers and create offers like this you're going to make an absolute fortune in real estate wholesaling it's completely changed my life took me from a window cleaner to making millions doing this so grateful that i learned this process um, if you guys want more help with learning how to do real estate wholesaling you can also check out my podcast it is fantastic where i break down deals and talk to students that are doing deals how they did the deals exactly what they did how to do it, go to drivingfordollarsmastery.com, uh, or sorry, drivingfordollarsmastery, uh, anywhere you can find podcasts, iTunes, all those places. So check it out. Um, and then you can also go to dfdmastery.com and book a call and talk to us about the coaching program if you have any interest there. Anyways, thanks so much. I hope you guys enjoy today's video and we'll see you in the next one.